Shalom. Welcome to another Healthy Living Broadcast. Tonight, we will be discussing hidden pork and bugs in your food and personal care products. Now, I decided to do tonight's video because I did a slideshow here on YouTube entitled Hidden Pork and Shellfish, and I was receiving emails letting me know that the video is being blocked in certain areas. So tonight, I'm going to expound upon that video, and I'm also going to list some new items that have also found to be contaminated. And in the second part of this series, I'm going to list tips, solutions, and list some wonderful alternatives to get you started shopping with more awareness. So if you're one that doesn't like pork or bugs in or on your body, then grab a pen and paper and pull up a chair. Also, let me say that I am not a doctor. I'm just an individual that has done the research just like anyone can. So allow this video to be your starting point in your own personal research and confirmed sources will be listed in my info box. Now, as a consumer, it is all right to know just what we are paying for. So, before I begin listing, let's just briefly discuss why these products are being added to our ingredients. Okay, well the main reason will be appearance, taste, and shelf life. If a product has to make it from one part of the country to another part of the country, then that company's priority is making sure that you are impressed with the taste, smell, and appearance of that product because they know that most Americans are suckers for taste, appearance, and smell, and not nutrition. For example, you may drive past McDonald's and you may have told yourself, I'm not going to eat those french fries anymore. But when you smell them or you smell someone else eating them, you may just get tempted to eat them. That's because of the certain chemicals and additives that the companies have put in these foods to make you more, more open to the smell and taste. So that's just a prime example. Now, am I trying to expose these companies and get them in trouble or anything like that? No, I'm just trying to provide you some educated information so you can do your own research and make your own educated choices. Now, am I trying to say that these companies are doing these things and putting these ingredients in our foods for sinister purposes? Well, I don't know. That's not for me to say. But one thing's for sure. The ingredients and chemicals put in today's food is killing and dumbing down the masses slowly but surely. But anyway, let me go ahead and get started with the list. First up on our list of pork products and pork byproducts is gelatin, which is pork bone and collagen. And the items that have gelatin are marshmallows, Jiffy cornbread, to my surprise, planter's peanuts, which also contains MSG, which causes cancer, most frosted cereals and cereals with marshmallows, jello, gel cap medicine prescribed and over the counter, yogurt, molded salad, many commercial chewing gums, and many chewy candies. Now let me also say, when I mean yogurt, I mean the dairy yogurt. And maybe not all of them, so you have to check and see based on the labels, which I will provide to you in part two. Ah. And next on our list is pepsin, which comes from the stomach of a hog, and it can be found in many cheeses. When you hear them talk about enzymes and things like that, you may want to be careful and switch over to a vegan cheese where you know you're not going to get pork byproduct. And yes, cheese is dairy-based, but they add this ingredient for texture and once again, taste and appearance. Okay, next on our list is lard, which is clarified pork fat. Now, lard can be found in most refried beans in Mexican restaurants. And also, sometimes their refried beans and their pinto beans will have pork in them. So you may want to ask if you go to a restaurant. Also containing lard is most ready-made pie crust. Next, many tortilla chips can have lard in them. Next on our list is suet. Now, I do not know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's S-U-E-T, suet or sweat. I call it suet. Okay, and suet is hard white kidney and loin fat off of pigs, and it can be found in minced meat, most margarine and butter, and even bird feed. Next on our list is capric acid and animal lecithin. Now, 
animal lecithin can be beef fat, it can be pork fat, it's just whatever the company decides to use. So if they don't specify, then you may want to be suspicious. Now capric acid, it's animal fat, but many times it doesn't always include pigs also. And sometimes it comes from the calcium in their bodies. Okay, and you can find capric acid in most commercial pastries, such as your some already made cupcakes and cookies, graham crackers and things like that. Calcium stearate is next on the list, which is a hog mineral. It can be found in, believe it or not, garlic salt and garlic powder in the seasoning section of your grocery store. Also, many non-organic vanilla flavorings can have capric acid, I mean, excuse me, calcium stearate in it. Next on our list is monodiglycerides, which are saturated fats, many times including pork fat, but not always pork fat. It can be beef or any other miscellaneous animal that they want to add, whatever's cheap that they can work with. Okay, and monodiglycerides can be found in most commercial cake mixes, many commercial pancake mixes, and many caramel popcorn items, and many other things, chips, anything. Just check for monodiglycerides. It's a very common ingredient in many American foods. Next on our list is miscellaneous pork byproducts. And on our list is white sugar and brown sugar, believe it or not. The pork is not in the white sugar and brown sugar, it's on the white sugar and brown sugar because when the sugar is crystallized, they use pork bones to crystallize the sugar. Also, Tic Tac mints, Altoids, most peppermint candies, and most commercial vitamins and herbal supplements. I'm going to say it one more time. Most commercial vitamins and herbal supplements, believe it or not. The calcium stearate and things like that, magnesium stearate, they put these animal byproducts in your vitamins. And you're thinking because they're vitamins that they're healthy. But you have to make sure that your vitamins say vegetarian or vegan on the bottle or make sure that it doesn't have any stearate in it or make sure it has either a kosher symbol or a symbol letting you know that it doesn't have any animal byproducts. And yes, even Whole Foods has some of these animal byproducts in their vitamins so they do have some vegan versions but make sure you know what you're getting. Reading labels is very important. Now we're going to move on to a little beetle called the cochineal beetle also called Carmine, which sounds like a cool name, and also called Red 40, or either Red Lake 40. Now this little beetle is ground up into a fine powder, and it makes a red color, and it's added to most of our red sodas, and most of our popsicles, and things like that. So I'm going to list these off. Carmine can be found in many sodas, not just red sodas either. Bottled juices, most commercial cranberry juices, Skittles, when I quote like that, that means I'm not sure if Skittles have changed their policy, so I don't want to get them in trouble. Make sure you do your own research. Also, most lip gloss and cosmetics, even the natural ones, so be careful that you don't have carmine in your lip gloss to give it that reddish pinkish color. Starburst, you may want to check with that company and make sure that they're not still adding carmine to, their, to make their candies red and neon colors. Commercial fruit punch with artificial flavoring, like those little ghetto fruit punches you can buy by the gallon at the corner store in the hood. You may want to check those out because most of them have carmine or ingredients that are not so good for your human body ultimately. Popsicles with artificial flavor. Colored pasta. Most red candies. And also beware of colored candies and most neon crazy colored candies too. And also, believe it or not, most eyeliners, even black eyeliners. Now, I was very disappointed to find that out because up until recently, I was using these eyeliners and I decided to look one day and I saw carmine on the ingredients. And if you buy your eyeliners from the beauty supply like I did, sometimes the ingredients won't be listed at all or it could be listed in Asian, Korean or whatever language is on the pencil. So make sure you know what you're getting into because most eyeliners sold in most standard stores do have carmine in them so you may want to think about ordering your eyeliners online from a vegan website also most food colorings and most colored cake icings have carmine in them also to my surprise a product i have i have been using up until recently lot of body setting lotion and hair gel has carmine in it believe it or not 
Also, uh, getting back to pork, let me mention that most of your commercial soft soaps and liquid soaps many of them have pork byproduct in them and also animal products like beef and other things like that so make sure you know what kind of liquid soap you are putting on your body you see it's not just going in your body these items are going on your body so it, it pays to read all the labels once again in part two i'm going to list some wonderful solutions and alternatives so you can avoid those products okay so i'll see you in part two